Oh, right guys, welcome back to the channel. I figured today would be a good day to make a progress video update for you. I also wanted to talk about the plans for my next video, and it has to do with going around getting all the catalysts, but we'll get into all that a little bit later. So let's go ahead and get right into this feet tab. I want to show you here almost 700 feet so far. Now we're a little bit over four months in, and at this point, the Valentine's Day event is over and the St. Patrick's event just started. I kind of wanted to wait until I had 700 feet to do this video, but I figured now is a pretty good time. So let's go down to our seasonal and look at this. We are completely done with the Love Conquers All event. And I was also looking at the St. Patrick's event and I already had most of these completed. So I went ahead and used some replays and just bought them. So we only have four more here. I might be running it with another character, but I I don't know if I'll really need to. It's good because I didn't really want to spend that much time on this. So it shouldn't take too long to finish up and we'll be in a pretty good spot. That's three in a row, by the way. Uh, three anniversary events that we have completely just maxed out, which is awesome. So looking at the summary here, we've got 77 seasonal, 61 player versus player and then we're up to 113 on legends so let me show you legends first right now we're on area 51 and this is our second go around at this one um i've got what is this like seven more so hopefully i'll be able to get a good bit of these this week it just started so i still have time to buy some more legends characters this is last week's uh, i got all the feats except for one and the south gotham courthouse I actually unlocked, this is the first time we've got all the feats under one tab, and this was uh, two weeks ago. So I really wanted to get the last uh, the last two on League of Assassins, but I just did not have time to buy both of these. But we'll see how Area 51 goes. And let me show you real quick, these are the characters that we have unlocked so far. We have quite a few, but we still have uh, quite a few left to buy. And like I said before, one thing that's really surprising me is how many PvP feats we're getting from grinding out these marks. Looking under the legendary battles, I've been kind of cleaning these up as I've gone along, and this is all I've got left, just eight more matches for Arkham Asylum. And looking at the general tab, we're up to 5,000 knockouts. So we need another 5,000, and we will be... I think it only goes up to 10,000, I'm not sure. Turrets, we still have quite a few turrets left to get. The bounty missions, okay, this is the part that sucked. These were broken for like a month. I was stuck on 80, and they finally fixed it with the last update, so I got it up to 100, and then, as you can see here, we've got another 150 to go. I would probably be around 200 right now, because I did so much grinding while it was broken, but I'm not too worried about it. We still have a ways to go with, with this one. But still, 61 out of 101, when we're not even really trying for this, is to, it's pretty good. And if you take a quick look at episodes, we're at 82 out of 618. And we still have so many more Legends PvE feats to get. So all of that together brings us up to 145 skill points. Now remember that episodes tab, we only have 82 for the episodes tab out of 600 something. So if we jump over there after we're done with the Legends feats, which I'm almost positive we'll have at least 150 skill points by the time we're done with that, we are going to get so many points. I'm pretty confident that the 300 goal we set at the end of the year, we, we, we will hit. So I'm super happy about that. And there's also one other thing I wanted to show you down here, what I've been doing. So if you didn't know already, uh, when you're doing Legends PvP, you get marks of legend obviously and that's what we're buying the characters with but you also get marks of valor so if you're wondering where all these ridiculous amounts of marks of valor are going i'm going to show you over here you have the style vendor for pvp and i have bought all of these styles this is this is the first thing i did i went through i bought all these styles so that's where some of these style feats are coming from it's a pretty consistent amount of skill points that we're getting here. So all of these are bought out and you know, they, they cost 800 a piece and there's quite a few of them. So that's where the first big chunk of Valor went. But then I started stocking up on PVP gear. Now, if you don't know already, it starts at 97 and once you complete the full set of 97, it unlocks 98 and so on. And it goes up all the way to 101. 
and right now we are actually at and this is after buying all the styles we have the full 98 gear and we have a few pieces of 99 gear I think it's like four or five pieces so definitely definitely by the time we're finished with this we're gonna have full 101 PvP gear where we can actually go into the real arena and start doing work on some of those feats and the awesome thing about this is with every new uh, item level you unlock on here it gives you more styles like the 99 is adaptive Android I guess so every level that we go up we're getting another feat for the styles which is just awesome so that is all of that now while I've been doing some of these uh, specific legends battles like Arkham Asylum or uh, Ace Chemicals the queues have been taking a little bit longer so I so I kinda started flying around collecting these parts uh, the exobytes and we're at 206 right now I've been getting collections too and kinda selling them we're up to uh, 1.4 mil almost which really is not that much but that's what I've been doing in the meantime so yeah we are yeah 132 days in so that is the progress so far I'm still very happy with how we've been coming along for the immediate future it's gonna be pretty much me doing the same thing just continuing to grind these PvP legends and working on these PvP feats it might seem like it's going kinda slow but to have 145 skill points and just be focused on this PvE legends is super super good so far I mean it's we are getting skill points way faster than I thought we would anyway with that out of the way I was looking around on the broker um, and I wanted to get these last two base items that I need but I think they're both around three mil a piece uh, I only have about 1.4 right now so for my next video the plan's gonna be we're gonna take a little bit of a break on PvP and we're gonna actually try to collect all of the catalysts, just just one of each. I want to collect them all, and I want to figure out I want to figure out how much money you can make weekly by just collecting all the catalysts and selling them as a bunch. And then hopefully we'll make enough uh, to actually finish all of our base item feats, so that we won't have to worry about that anymore. But I I don't really know. I haven't looked at the prices of them. It it might be good. It might be just not worth it at all but we'll find out I know some of the new catalysts have also just come out so it might be a good excuse to get my CR up a little bit because I'm not actually sure if I can uh, do all of those with 169 but uh, I don't know we'll see what happens anyway that's gonna be it for this video guys and I will catch you next time